Well, the amazing thing about Cascadia Pacific Northwest is this is where all the pioneers kind of came out, started new things. You've got more entrepreneurs per capita than anywhere else in the country, Canada. I specifically chose Vancouver. I could have started my company anywhere in the world. And I chose Vancouver because of the existing talent ecosystem and the proximity that it was to Washington State, to Oregon. We had a mining company in here yesterday and we showed them the things we're working on. And they're like, this is going to radically change our industry. Virtually every company on the planet, whether they know it today or not, is going to be a tech company. What we're seeing right now is probably about 40 or 50 new companies that have spawned in the last couple of years, just specifically focused on AR and VR. Working with PACCAR, we really kind of decided to tackle the truck design process. And to develop a new truck is an incredibly costly process. And we felt that can be radically changed using mixed reality. We were able to reduce the process from six months to three days. And instead of just having one model, you had all the different possibilities. When we set up the AR VR hub, it was with specific intention here to actually build those collisions between sort of startups and innovators in the AR VR technology space and to bring real customers and real sort of industry problems to the table so that they can actually see how those innovations can affect how they do their business. And I think that's the really neat opportunity for the Cascaded Corridor is facilitating those type of relationships. These are jobs of the future and there is a global competition to build these centers. And if it's not here, it will be somewhere else. So what we need to do is tell the story in a bigger way about this whole region and attract the best of global talent to come here. And if we can establish as the ARVR capital of the world, we're going to see people flooding to this region. What the Cascadia Corridor has been able to do is actually shine a light on the opportunity that's bigger for us to connect two regions that through history have always been connected, except for sort of the artificial border that's been established on a geopolitical boundary. But in essence, we have always been one peoples.